Hi, my name is Allie. We're here in beautiful St. Pete Beach, Florida at one of our Better at Beach Volleyball camps at the PCI. And today we're gonna do a quick serving private lesson with Jen and Patty, focusing on our float serves and how to get the ball in a good spot for us to play defense. All right, so. Our main focus is overhand serving, right? That, is there anything else? That's pretty much what we want to focus on, what we want to develop into our arsenal, our little tool bags, right? Cool, perfect. So what we're gonna do, we're all gonna grab a ball, and then we're gonna come over here. Patty and Sunny come on this side. Perfect, perfect, there we go. All right, so the most important part of the serve is the toss. If we don't have a consistent toss, we have a really hard time of getting that ball over the net and giving ourselves a good chance to get it over the net, right? Because this is also the only time that we are in complete control of the game. So, I like to use a general rule of thumb, like two and a half to three feet of a toss above my head. So right around here. And then I'm tossing it on my right side too, because I'm right-handed. If I toss it on my left side, that makes my life a lot harder. I also like to toss it with two hands because I think that that gives me a lot of control. Obviously not. <laughs> but I like to toss it with two hands because then I have the consistency as opposed to just trying to do it with one hand. So the pattern that we follow or the rhythm that we follow is step, toss, hit. All right, or if you're tossing with two hands, step, toss, hit. So we're just gonna start from midway. Yep, right there where we are. <coughs> You're stepping with your left foot, with the opposite, because we don't want to use all of our shoulders, just our shoulders. We want to use our core too, because we can get a lot of power from coming across here. See what I mean? So if I keep that ball on my right side and my left leg is in front, I'm tossing up here and reaching high, cont contacting that ball above my head too. That's the, we don't want to come from here. We're not shot putting, right? We do have to come up and under a little bit, but pull that arm back. So what? So the step by step. We're here, our arm's gonna come back, we're gonna wave hello to somebody behind us, right? So we have a big open chest. Our left leg is in front, we're tossing and stepping through, okay? Let's try it. If it goes in the net, that's okay, that's just the first round. Good? Yes, try to watch your hand hit the ball. So if we have a good toss, yes, perfect. Perfect. There we go, so keep that wrist strong. No, it's all good. It's all good. Hold on, hold on. Yep, there we go, there. And step into it. Yep, step and then throw. It's kind of like simultaneous. So it's almost like a step, toss, hit. Like as you're stepping, that ball's going up too. Yeah, there you go. Hey! Watch your hand hit the ball a little more then. There it is. Great job, ladies. This looks awesome. Hit it. Good. So that one you just came across a little bit, right? If we end, perfect. So if we hold, hold that finish, freeze at the top. So then we can see what's happening. Yes, good. So I think what's happening is you're trying, you're bringing you're coming through just a little too soon. Try to use your core a little bit more. So when you're waving back here, we're open, and then hold the ball up. As, so if your ball was here, you wanna aim for through the ball. Go through the ball. So your hand wants to end up here. Does that make sense? No worries, we got this, we got this. Through. There we go, I love it. What's going on guys? It's Chad the Dad with Better at Beach Volleyball. Just a reminder, okay? If you want the opportunity to work on these drills and skills in the sand with us, with AVP pros and AVP coaches, then click the link below to sign up for one of our seven day beach volleyball vacations, all right? You got fun in the sun, you got hardcore training, and you got a great community of beach volleyball enthusiasts, all right? It's a great way to prepare your off season. It's a great way to get more reps. It's a great way to get better. Okay, so we'll see you out in the sand. And as always, let's get better. So now we're going to take a little step back. So we'll be like on that last three quarters of the court right around here. There's a little 
diagram line. <clears throat> so now, nothing really changes. Everything that we were doing from halfway into the court, we do the same thing. We just gotta add a little bit more power maybe. All right, so whenever we're ready, we wanna aim up and over the net, right? We're going for that back line if we can. Here we go. Through the ball. Yes! So keep literally, like if, I don't know if you know what I mean by this because this is, it sounds a little funky, but for as long as possible, I want to see my hand is coming from back here, right? When I'm tossing and hitting, my eyeballs are right here. My eyeballs are right on my hand and the ball, right? I'm not looking anywhere else. When you miss hit it, it's because your eyes, yeah. So it's a great fix. We know what to fix. Exaggerate that contact. Yes, good open. Watch it. Yes, there it is. Keep watching it. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Patty, did you hear the difference on that one? That was awesome, that was awesome. Yes, ma'am. That toss was a little far from you. Bring that right hip through. Good, nice. Before every single serve, professional level, mostly like in the pros, we all, but every level, we have a pre-serve routine. What does that do? The purpose of it is to get us mentally checked in and ready to serve the ball. So you'll, you'll notice when people go back to serve, they do the same thing every single time. Like if you watch an AVP player like Mark and all of these guys, they do the same thing every single time. So for my serve, for example, I jump serve because I'm small, so I need to like build points somehow, right? So my pre-serve routine, I clap the sand off the ball like once or twice, then I spin it twice, and as I'm doing that, I take a reset breath. And when I take my reset breath, I'm choosing my spot on the court. So I have a plan A. I have a plan A of, okay, if this toss is exactly where I need it to go, that ball's going deep middle. However, I'm also kind of developing a plan B. If my toss is a little bit to the left, I don't want to try to fight it back to the middle, but maybe I'll go with the flow of it a little bit more and go towards that sideline a little more. Just, you know, food for thought. The biggest thing is just develop, developing a pre-serve routine. So take your time every time and just feel out something that feels good. Visualization and choosing your spot really helps with consistency too. So we're gonna add that to our little serving practice as well, all right? Try not to change too much, right? Just cause you're from the end line, you got this. All good through, keep that toss in front of you and go through the ball. Yep, step, yes! Nice. If your toss is there, you can get the ball over the net. That toss just went a little in front of you, but it's all good. Keep that arm back and come through, swing your hip through a little, little faster. Come more towards the middle too. You don't have to be so far on the right side, yeah. Nice. Right? Strong and through. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you learned something and took something out of this lesson for your serve at home. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe.